Hello guys, this is Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and today I want to talk a little bit more about the RX Vega lineup that's inbound from AMD. Specifically, I want to talk about yesterday's leak, or at least supposed leak, of the uh, Vega lineup, which looks like it may feature three SKUs. Now, according to DigiWorthy, which is not a website I'm all that familiar with, the Vega lineup has indeed been leaked, and it's going to feature three SKUs, including the RX Vega Core, the RX Vega Eclipse, and the RX Vega Nova, ranging from $399 to $499 to $599 for the price tag, respectively. Now, before I sort of dive into a few of my own thoughts on this particular uh, bit of news or rumor, rather, about the Vega line, I do want to point out a couple things with the launch, at least the launch timeline that is rather expected from AMD. The article from DigiWorthy does point to Computex on May 31st as an, uh, as an announcement date, and it does point to June 5th as the availability date, although if we are to believe reports from just earlier this month that cite an HBM2 shortage as a potential bottleneck in the production of the new Vega cards, we may not actually see Vega available at least on a wide scale for some time. And since we don't have any benchmarks to go off just yet, it's impossible to tell how the Vega core will actually compare to, to the GTX 1070. If it'll be a favorable comparison, then the $399 price tag may actually be worth it. But if it does doesn't compare favorably, then there are a plethora of GTX 1070s for cheaper than the $399 asking price of the Vega Core that would probably be a better value to a gamer. And that's concerning for AMD because the 1070 looks like it's more or less in the, at least closer to the mainstream as far as its price point goes, and if it gives you equal or better performance than the Vega Core, it would make zero sense to go for the Vega Core at a higher price point. Especially Especially because if you do trade up a little bit and spend the full $399 on a, a GTX 1070, you're going to be getting a very beefy aftermarket cooler, whereas the Vega with a beefy aftermarket cooler may cost you even more than the $399 price point. And then there's the Vega Eclipse, which, like the Vega Core, will compare to the 1080, but yet again, the 1080 can come in at slightly lower price point, although the gap isn't quite as large. Again, this could be concerning for AMD fans if the Vega uh, SKU doesn't beat out the 1080 while still charging that $499 price point, because yet again, if it is not beating the 1080, there's zero reason to pay more for an inferior card. But of course, we'll all be watching the RX Vega Nova, the big card on the block, which will supposedly compete with the GTX 1080 Ti, but do it at a roughly $100 uh, price point lower than the current GTX 1080 Ti offerings. A quick search on Newegg gives us a plethora of different companies making mostly Founders Edition cards at the $699 price point. However, it is possible to find non-Founders cards at this price point. For example, this Gigabyte GTX 1080 Ti is that $700 price point, but does come with a much beefier air cooler and a triple fan setup that will give you better cooling performance, likely anyways, than that Founders card. As with all leaks, this leak of the Vega lineup needs to be taken with a big giant grain of salt, largely because it's very unlike AMD to simultaneously create a card that doesn't provide the performance that its competitor does while charging more money for that same card. And of course, we don't have benchmarks to go off of, but what I'm saying here is even if the RX core uh, it basically equals a 1070. The 1070 is still much cheaper. And the same can be said of the Eclipse. Even if the Vega Eclipse essentially is equal to the 1080, then there's still not a compelling reason to buy the Eclipse because you can find 1080s a little bit cheaper than you can the Eclipse at that $499 price point. Furthermore, if HBM2 really is in very short supply and that leads to a shortage of Vega cards, you can sort of bank on retailers jacking up the prices of their available Vega cards that they do have in stock, which would lead to even less favorable price comparisons between the Vega cards and their GTX counterparts. 
The exception, of course, is the RX Vega Nova, which looks like it is going to be $100 cheaper than the GTX 1080 Ti, which is the card it should be competing with. If that's the case, it doesn't actually have to equal the 1080 Ti in performance. It just has to get within a stone's throw away, and its price to performance ratio will still be better than the 1080 Ti. And even if you're somebody that's fully planning on buying an NVIDIA card, for whatever the reason that you have, maybe you just believe that NVIDIA has better driver support, or maybe you just don't have any faith in AMD as a company, then you should still be waiting for the Vega cards, because if nothing else, if they are comparable in performance, they should at least help drag down the prices of the NVIDIA cards, especially on the high end with the 1080 Ti's. And with the launch at the point of being nearly imminent, it really shouldn't be a big deal for you as a consumer to wait a few more weeks and see just what AMD is offering before you make such a large purchasing decision as a graphics card, especially a $700 graphics card could be. But of course, until AMD actually announces these cards and gives us some some firm numbers to work with, and until we see reviews from independent third parties of the Vega cards, we just won't know exactly what we're working with. At best, we can hope that they do in fact compete with the NVIDIA high-end cards, the 1070, 1080, and 1080 Ti, and if we're lucky, maybe those price points are off by $50 or even $100, and AMD is actually going to give it to us for a little bit cheaper, which may make more business sense, especially if their cards aren't actually beating the NVIDIA cards. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the AMD leaks? And what do you really expect from Vega at this point? Do we expect big things or do we expect a GPU flop um, or a dead on arrival type of launch? Leave your comment in the you know comments down below. And as always guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, and give me that comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They are the same tag for your convenience. And we will let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.